Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Excuse the sound if it doesn't sound the best. I don't have my mic still, but I wanted to share a couple things with you. The first thing I want to share is this news clip where the district attorney has came out and is now talking about Summer's case. So let me share that with you. Here it is. The search for missing Summer Wells continues tonight. That's the Hawkins County girl who's now been missing for nearly 10 months. Tonight, for the first time, we're hearing from District Attorney General Dan Armstrong about his role in the investigation into what happened to the missing six-year-old Summer Wells. On the night of June 15th, District Attorney General Armstrong called in the TBI to help with the search efforts for Summer Wells. Now almost 10 months later and no real developments, this case is unlike anything he's ever worked before. The sheriff will contact other law enforcement agencies, and uh, but under the, under the way the TBI is set up, I have to make the formal request for the TBI. So the sheriff, uh, when in this particular case, uh, he had called and asked for help from all the agencies and then called me and I asked the TBI to get involved. The long spanning search for Summer Wells can feel like a blur, but the night of June 15th is clear as day, just as the call to issue an Amber Alert on the 16th. An Amber Alert is where a child is uh, missing from either uh, the person that's supposed to have legal custody of them or their, or their parents. And uh, so we put out the Amber Alert to alert everybody, including citizens. If you have a cell phone, your phone will go off on Amber Alerts. So, so you can be on the lookout and help us spot uh, this child if uh, the child happens to show up in your area. No one has been charged in relation to Summer's disappearance, but that doesn't mean the district attorney isn't involved. My role basically is just to be an advisor if any legal issues that may come up during the search, who to talk to, how to, how to go about doing that. Uh, I am kept briefed uh, periodically, not every day, but uh, periodically. And uh, just available to provide any legal assistance that I can. As law enforcement is flooded with tips and the seasons change, small scale searches have taken place in the Beach Creek area. We follow leads as they come in. Uh, and uh, so at this point, you're basically down to just following whatever leads come in and following up, maybe trying to backtrack and do some things you did before to see if anything comes of it. The most recent ground surge back in February didn't bring anything, and right now there isn't another one planned. Coming up tonight at 6, you'll hear more from District Attorney General Armstrong about his role in the investigation and how it impacts the possibility of future charges. Ansley, thank you. An Amber Alert is still active for Summer Wells tonight. Anyone with credible information that could help the investigators in the case, call the Tennessee Bureau of Investigations at 1-800-TBI-FIND. So here's another thing I want to show you real quick. My mod Mez, Mezra, shout out, found these two clips where Allie basically is saying two different things. So in one clip, she's saying that Hunter wasn't rocking back and forth. And then on that newest interview that we had watched a couple weeks ago, she says that he, what, he did rock back and forth. So I thought it was kind of interesting. Thanks, Mez. Let me play those for you. And... I said, what's wrong? Do you want to talk to me? He wanted to come out of it or nothing? He was just sitting there rocking back and forth. Uh, there's a rumor yeah. Hunter was on the floor rocking back and forth. No. And I said, what's wrong? Do you want to talk to me? He wanted to come out of it or nothing? He was just sitting there rocking back and forth. Uh, there's a rumor yeah. Hunter was on the floor rocking back and forth. No. Okay, so there's that. So... That was her on that last one uh, that she would call it in, I guess, on the show. They are talking to her on the phone. So I'm not sure. I mean, why lie? But we know, like, from all this stuff that there is a lot of lies. We I don't know why. Like, that Hunter lied about some things. It seems like Allie lied about some things. Candace lied about some things. I don't know what they're trying to cover up. I'm not sure. I mean, we all have our own theories. Okay, so next, I just want to show you the two pictures because there's been a lot of talk about the picture in that video, the last video of her um, in the truck that was supposedly them coming home after dropping Hunter off. And there's been people saying that her hair was a different length. So let me show you the two pictures side by side and see what you guys think. So I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Okay, so I'm going to show you one more thing. I had done a video months ago 
on the TikTok video that Candace did when they were at the horse pond or whatever they call that water watering hole or wherever they were swimming that day. So she made a TikTok video that day. So I made a video with her in the background kind of explaining that to Chris. And then I actually put music to it. But my point is, is I'm going to put a picture of Summer in the truck up in the corner. And then I'm going to play that video from the day when she's swimming. And then maybe you guys could kind of compare the hair lengths there because this is what people have been saying that at the pond her hair was a different length than when she was in the truck. So I freeze frame some of the parts too. So you guys could maybe try to compare it. It's a little hard because the shadows and the lighting of the video make it kind of hard to see where the hair is, but let me know what you guys think. So here it is. Just playing in the water right here. Okay. She's just playing, you know, like a normal kid would play in the water. Well, the flowers have died that were there on that. Oh, place. so there there were a bunch of flowers there was here. A bunch of flowers right here, yeah, on this little petal. I don't know what. I guess they've all died now, but. And then Hunter came from wherever he was and come down here and was standing here. I don't want to get all wet, but yeah. he was like standing here and someone was out a little bit further. They were pretty far apart from like me and your wife is. Okay. Is that the TikTok video you took? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you can see how far they were apart. Yeah, I can see it, right. started throwing up gang signs and I'm like so I moved it back away from him as quick as I could and I was videoing them flowers and then back at summer again real quick. And then he decided to get in the water right there and he went like this with the water a couple times I told him please stop that she don't like to be splashed. Okay. And so he quit and got out. Playing in the water right here. Okay. Still got her arm up? No. Oh, that's what I was trying to catch. 